G'day, g'day, Rob here, and welcome to Outback Vaping. Anyway, tomorrow, 29th of November, Adelaide, Parliament, uh, the steps of Parliament House, uh, which happens to be, I had to write this down, uh, corner of North Terrace and King William Street, is uh, Vape Advocacy um, March, basically, and it goes from 11.30 uh, to 1.30. I myself can't make it. I've got my business to run here in town, but I'd love to be there. If you can get there, want to support vaping, make it. Definitely get there. Um, we need all the support we can get here in South Australia. Things just basically shit hit as hit the fan, and uh, now we've got to deal with the splatter. So, anyway, today we've got something a little bit different. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Today we have the Sarob. From Vapors Cloud and uh, my mate Dave Basenko in Adelaide he's the one that gave this to me went down met him over uh, wicks and coils um, online got talking um, and uh, yeah asked me to help him move house so I went down there and this was what he gave me for a little thank you present so uh, nice little thank you gift so this is second hand so I don't have any packaging or anything else or none of the other little bits and pieces that it might have came with but um, yeah we'll take it down I'll take it apart and show you what I think of it and uh, yeah come join me in the fridge uh, if you haven't noticed I'm trying a uh, different angle with the camera Let's see if this works a little bit better all right so oh, sorry about that finger over the bloody camera We'll bang her, him down there for a sec. Now, I reckon we might just have to zoom in just a tad. What do you reckon, guys? About there? About there. Alrighty then. So, my first mechanical tube mod. The Sarov from Vapors of Cloud. So... Take the tank off. Chuck that to the side. We'll start, take the battery out. That's just uh, something I do at the end of some of my batteries. Not all of them, doesn't fit in all your mods like that, but if it fits in my mod, I just bang a bit of extra protection on either end. One or two wraps, nothing major. Anyway. And that's a personal thing. We're here for this. What? This little ripper. All right, so. That's our connection. Now this is, I believe they call this a hybrid connection. Um, so basically, this means that the bottom of your tank, that pin makes connection with in right in the middle right here that bastard makes connection directly with your battery and the outside makes connection with this so depending on which way you got your battery whether it be positive or ne negative now this tube is designed for the negative I mean the negative to be up and the positive to be down so the positive is at your fire button on this thing um, but you do want to make sure that you have a nice protruding pin like this one and nice insulation on it like that insulator on, that's why I love the Bonza so much, it has a nice, fat, chunky insulator on it, so. <coughs> Beautiful for that sort of a thing. Anyway, back to this. Threading on this has been absolutely great. As you can see. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful threading on that. Let me do that one more time, look at that. See? So, love the threading on it. Uh, the machining on the rest of the mod's been absolutely phenomenal. Got a few little fingerprints and that on it at the moment, but she comes up beautiful with a little bit of a polish. It doesn't take much to get there either, so this had a bit of a scratch in it when Dave first gave it to me. As I said, this was Dave's, and he's uh, passed it forward and on to me. And uh, yeah, that buffed out beautifully. Alright, so go down to the switch. As you can see, we have our venting around the edge of the switch. 
little locking tabs in the corners so condensation is probably from the tip of my finger whip so yeah anyway that's that so hold the switch down yeah, hold the switch down take the ring off switch up in this bit of a concaved shape so you've got a bit of a dome shape there a bit of a concave so that will make connection with that in the spring around the outside so this is your connection and your button now I haven't had any problems with a hot switch or a hot button as some as people call it which is good you can see quite clearly plenty plenty of battery venting there so they'll come out and come down through here and pass through those little slots around there if your battery does happen to vent please know your own law on battery safety before you even pick up any sort of a mechanical device be it box tube doesn't matter any sort of mechanical device if you don't know your ohms law please stick with regulated mods um, something with built-in safety protection study up even then try to learn your ohms law it's a handy thing to have so anyway back to the mod on the inside here we have a little is our connection we have a little insulator around the outside of that to help protect with hard shorts. Yeah, best way to get in there is with a pair of these things. I found. And there we go. So here we are. See, that's how that'll connect. So basically, you've got that and uh, your spring. Which, I don't know if you can see that. See, there's your other connector, is that spring. So that sits just below it, and you push on it, and up she goes. <coughs> I do like this adjustments from the top now this is a 18650 21700 2700 um, device um, which nice and versatile me as you see I like to crank myself some Samsung 30Ts oh, I quite like them a nice little battery so easy to put back together as well I found with this part it's easier to actually bang like so up, up the other way bang like so and in like that it popped it popped out hang on last thing you want to do is cross thread the bitch have to there we go Put that back together. So that's back in there. Spring. Button. Ring. Yeah, just got to line that up with those little grooves. Not as easy on camera as it is off. There we go. Trying to bring that across a bit for you. Do that so that you can see what's happening a bit better. And just a little half turn back. Yep, there we go. Lined up nicely. Once again, beautiful threading on this. Across the board. Absolutely love the machining on this. Um, I will be collecting more tube mods. 
I will be venturing into the uh, mechanical zone. Uh, build all my own coils, make all my own juices, and I've gotten fairly confident now in the past few months. And uh, yeah, so we'll be giving absolutely everything and anything a go from now on. Kind of gotten over the um, fear factor. Just be play it smart. Don't go building overly stupid. Um, so with this one, positive down. That yeah, positive down, negative up. <coughs> Attach your tank to this. As seen before, beautiful threading on that. And as I said, all your adjustments in this top part. That little bit of extra tape on there doesn't take up all the slack but it just helps to take up a little bit of the slack and then screw down nice and firm and uh, we're ready to go I'm rocking uh, uh, dual 26 wrapped in 40 gauge uh, that's coming in at 0.12 which happens to be spot on for the um, Samsung 30Ts. Going uh, by my calculations. So yeah, 0 0.12 is spot on perfect for that battery. Um, you can go a 0.1. Would not ever go any lower than a 0.1. And, <clears throat> you know, as a beginner, even then you're pushing it, in my opinion. Alright. We'll take it back up the top and, yeah, I'll give you my final thoughts. Oh, that's uh, I reckon that's the hall you can hear in the background. Got a rescue there, see if we can get him up and running again. Sorry about the close up just then, guys. Anyway, the Sarov from Vapors Cloud. Mmm, nice. Very, very nice. Um, said it before, beautiful machining, threading on it's great. Love the button on it. It's, um, not too long a throw. It's quite, there is a fair bit of resistance. When I first picked it up, I wasn't used to a tube. And, um, tried a couple of my other mates. And um, yeah, definitely do like the firing button on this. I'm roaching some of my uh, homemade juice that we made on the last video: uh, raspberry and um, raspberry mango and watermelon. She's uh, quite nice, actually. I'll probably uh, mix some more up with that after. But yeah. The Sarov from Vapors Cloud, and thanks to once again to Dave in Adelaide, courtesy of him. Wouldn't have gotten it if it wasn't for him, and uh, yeah, helped me make the leap across to the mechanical world. So, yeah, grab yourself one. I definitely recommend it. Nice little unit, great for a um, person that's first vent vent uh, venturing into the mechanical world has studied up on their own law and knows what they're doing. And um, yeah, I reckon it'd make an awesome first mechanical device. So uh, pick one up, give it a go, and uh, I'll see you next time on Outback Vaping. <laughs>